Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage Channel, and today we're looking at a ship we built in, well, a build-off that was a week ago. So, once again, last week's build-off, but this time I don't have any footage to show. Um, I actually did have a fair amount of footage, it was just a slog fest, as we gave ourselves an hour to go ahead and build something. Uh, a fighter to be more exact, and the idea was you'd have more forward thrust than you had downside, up, or backwards thrust. But nobody really listened, so it ended up taking us a bit longer. Um, Aaron got done in 30 minutes, but he uh, his little Henry had to be reworked a tiny, minuscule bit, so he was still ready well within the hour. I thought I was ready, ran into a few snags, and ended up taking... Oh, well, I thought I was ready at 45 minutes, ended up going a bit longer. And then Scott took an hour and a half, and he still crashed very quickly. It was really, I think, his piloting. In the end, we had our battle, and um, everyone crashed but me, and I only barely didn't. Crashed. I finally did crash into a mountain anyway. Yeah, I'd uh, show you guys some of that, but as I said, no footage at all because I, rather idiotically, thought I'd saved it elsewhere and deleted all these unnamed files, and it happened to be some of those unnamed files. So, what I'm going to do is just show you the flipper that I built during that. I'm not going to show you the other guys' crafts. If you'd like to see those, you're of course going to have to go check their channels. But here's the flipper. It is a uh, flipper ship in the idea that it was supposed to be flipping around a lot because its main thrust is just at the back. It used to make our ships fly somewhat like planes, as I said, the main thrust was only supposed to be at the back, and absolute minimal thrust on the bottom, so the ship theoretically couldn't even hover. Which, uh, my first version here, which I'll hop into, just about could. So I've turned on my thrusters, and I'm aiming up, and you can see it just about hovers. I can't go up, I'm holding spacebar, there we go. So we can go up, but it's very, very, very slow. Uh, let's go back down and disactivate those. So I actually went ahead and made another one. Well, I say made another one. All I did was take off two of the thrusters that were on each side. Because you can see this had four of them. I cut it down to two. And this one, as I'll show right now, we even have our initial dampers on. I'll aim ourselves up. And I'm holding space bar and nothing. So this one was the one I actually decided I'd be the one working with the most. And this one here is basically the same thing. But after our first dogfight, we found out that the weapons... Well, if you've ever seen any dogfights in the space, you're just using minimal turrets or weapons you'll notice that usually you miss a whole lot and when you do hit it doesn't do much damage so we took it went ahead and put on the oki or okim weapons pack and if i go ahead and switch to a weller you can actually see the name of this weapon here it is a 23 millimeter fixed gun so those are usually pretty hefty and they have the same connection points so they hooked right in speaking of connection points i can actually follow fly over here follow fly over here and you can see this is just the internal workings of the ship i've gone ahead and cut it apart and you see we have all of our turrets hooked up to these little tiny pipes that curve down to a connecting six-way joint which then goes into a center six-way joint which then goes into a cargo container which leads of course to a uh well i could have probably just used another cargo container here but it's the uh four-way with the large connector piece which by the way i'm actually decided i'm really sick of this piece because when you're building stuff it, it's quite annoying to be like okay i need to have something that goes six ways with the large connectors and there's no way to do that the devs i think should put another block in that does do that for large connectors anyway we got that connecting to connectors up and down that then connects also to a lovely large reactor here which will explain some power issues i had in a minute and then it leads back to an antenna because of course any ship out there should definitely have an antenna even if it's still have an antenna you can always shut it off and then we got three gyroscopes here and believe it or not if you were to look down here and cut away this block right there, you can see we had a gyroscope at the bottom. And of course, we do also have a remote control block at the top. That way, if ever you find yourself out of your ship and it was too far away or something, you could always fly it back or just fly it remote control because we do also have a camera on the front. Alrighty, and also you might notice the first version here had a vent on the front that I accidentally left off the other versions. That's just a vent set to depressurize, that way you'll still have oxygen inside the cockpit, even if you got your helmet off, it'll still be pulling oxygen in there. If you do that, remember, you gotta keep that vent set to depressurize. Now, I did mention that I had some power issues. Now, in this version here, and I'll go ahead and take it for a flight, and aim ourselves up a little bit nice and simple like there we go for some reason the camera had popped us in the first person and just go forward and there you go you can see we've overloaded but we're still in the air and now we're getting some stuttering even though our frames are still saying we're getting 54 frames per second that's odd i don't know why we're getting any stuttering at all but anyway you can see the ship is why are we getting stuttering here what the hell is going on it worked perfectly the other week god dang it uh anyway you see here, okay, the stuttering seems to be letting off. The ship does actually fly pretty well. Now, if I decided, you know what, I'm going this way, but I decided I want to go back the other way. Well, we flip it around, 
and we start flooring it this way. And you might notice some minor drops of them. So we're at, yeah, we're going forward, but we're still dropping our height. We turn around, we start flooring it this way. Our height drops like crazy because, of course, we only have forward thrust. And you can only stay once you really get, like, maximum forward thrust. Then it's going to sort of level you out and stop dropping you so much. Of course, the best way to counter that is actually to aim up a little bit. And you'll notice that, there we go. We've actually started climbing, so you can actually find a happy medium with a ship like this. Just like those hover seats I made ages and ages ago. Okie dokie. So, there you go. That's how this flies. You can see, even though our power usage is almost constantly at overload, we're not running into any issues. I can fire the guns. If you're in first person, mind you, you will be instantly blinded. And for some reason, it sounds like the sound's only coming out of my right ear. But you will be instantly blinded in first person, but it works. So let's go ahead and fly back down here to our landing zone. And I'm sure I'll crash this instead of landing it gracefully. Uh, maybe I can save it. Do that to counter it. Uh, very, very confusing. I've actually thought that I probably should have gone ahead and put a, another remote control core in there. That way I'd make what is now the bottom of the ship, this side right, or make the bottom of the ship, the front with a remote control cube. That way I could basically land it like a helicopter without having to aim like this, where I'm basically aiming up and controlling the ship so oddly. Uh, so we can go ahead and just say S to go down. <laughs> So yeah, I can, I can just about land this without massive amounts of damage. Just about. I'll probably still knock some metal off or something stupid. So there we go, just on the ground. And... Boop. Yay, minor, minor damage, I think. Please don't have a loss of thruster. Okay, that's pretty serious. Whoops, you landy. Some uh, metal railing around those might have saved the day. But the issue I found with power was once I got into this one with the modded turret. So let's go ahead and take off. You can see we actually have our modded an antenna down here. So this was the one I was going to be fighting with. And you notice we're not having power issues here. And I fire our guns. We're fine. That's because I went ahead and if we look on the sides here, you'll notice right there. Yeah, I'm zoom. Oh, oh God. Uh, right there. And I'm zooming in on them. Those two things. I actually have two of those on each side of the ship. I put more reactors in because I found, and I'll have to demonstrate this. I'll actually go ahead and just hover here for a second. Should be all right. And I'll go ahead and select these small reactors and turn them off. And I'll actually make a group too. So we can turn them back on pretty quick. So now if we start flooring it about, we strangely, believe it or not, are not getting overloads like we were before. That's not making much sense, but Okay, have they changed something? What's happened here? Oh, making me a fool, are you? Well, let's turn on the antenna. That should draw a little bit more power. Okay, I don't know what's happening now. <laughs> what? What? On, off. Okay, let's take all reactors and turn them off. And back on. Off. And now let's just take this one and turn it on. Okay, well, I don't know what's going on, because obviously we just flew the other ship down there, which had the exact same setup as this one, and we were getting over uh, overloads. So magically, this one, even though those other four reactors are turned off, it's fine. This isn't making any sense to me at all. Uh, the antenna is still set the full. What the heck? What the flippity frack? Well, I'm, I'm very confused, but when I was building the ship... The reason I added the reactors was because every time I fired these guns, which are now not fired, there we go. Every time I fired these guns, which still gives us some wonderful flashes, the ship would go to overload and actually the guns would stop firing. So I went ahead and changed that and added those other reactors. That way that wouldn't happen. Oddly now though, we're not getting overloads. Oh, there we go. See, finally they overloaded. I guess I just had to be going, see, and now they say they stopped working. I guess maybe it was the bottom thrusters of the ship weren't firing earlier. Ah, that was it. Our bottom thrusters weren't firing. You see, now that we're aiming at an angle, the bottom thrusters are going to be firing. It's not letting me fire the guns. There we go. That was it. The bottom thrusters just had to be firing, and somehow I was managed to fly in such a way that it wasn't causing issues there for a minute. And try to go up. Okay, now it's not doing it again. What? What? Oh, maybe it's something to do with altitude? The lower you go, the higher the gravity, and it's a tiny little bit more that just enough to make the bottom thrusters... Yeah, I guess it is something to do with altitude. It's just enough to make the thrusters have to work a little bit harder. Interesting! Anyway, the way I countered that was pretty simple. I put in those other reactors and turned them on. And actually, I found out also you have to have ownership of those reactors. They don't seem to actually help you at all. So now, if we were to go ahead and fly once again down into the lower atmosphere... 
That should be low enough to where we were having an issue a second ago. You can see now, everything keeps working. Also, Aaron pointed out my ship sort of looks like a Star Wars thing. I have to agree. When I built it, I was like, it sort of reminds me of something maybe from Star Wars or something. I still can't place it. It just sort of is reminiscent of something. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the ship. It functions well. Of course, like any in-atmosphere ship design like this, where it sort of flies like a plane, sharp turns are not your friend. So if I do a sharp turn like this, it's of course going to be trying to drop our altitude because we're having to regain speed in another direction. It's surprisingly not too bad considering the fact that... There we go. Now we're going to crash. So there we go. It's surprisingly not too bad, though. Um, overall, it's a bit of fun. If you'd like this ship, I'll probably toss it up on the Steam Workshop. Just the... Uh, not this version with the modded guns, but the other version that's always overloading. <laughs> because it does function with the non-modded weapons. The only issue with that one was with the modded weapons. If you ran out of power, the guns shut off, which was a bit unfortunate. Anyways, that is that. That's a flipper. Sorry I don't have any footage of our little gunship chairs that Aaron built, or we actually tried sledding. I derped and deleted it all. Fantastic, Sage. Just fantastic. Anyways, that is that. Thank you a bunch for watching. I don't know why we're getting this sort of frame jump jitter here, because it says we're at like a steady 52 to 53 frames per second. Don't know what's going on with that. Mm. Anyway, again, ship will be on the workshop if you want to go ahead and get it. It'll probably be this version... Well, the version that was right there, I'll probably stick a vent on the front before I put it up and make sure its reactors have some uranium and whatnot. Thank you a bunch for watching, and I shall see you guys and gals next time. Ta-ta. <gasps>